Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan here. Uh, today we're going to make us, uh, <laughs> hopefully we're going to make it, uh, it's a new thing on the YouTube, the internet everywhere, is this uh, biscuits with two ingredients. It's uh, self-rising flour and some heavy cream, but I'm going to use three. You've got a surprise ingredient. You just have to watch. But anyway... Let's get to it. I got me some gravy cooking, so we'll make some biscuits and gravy, all right? Okay, here's my uh, gravy I got cooking. Sausage gravy, but uh, I'm going to lower that again. Yeah, I had to run out to the store because huh, I thought I had more stuff than I had, and I wanted to make sure I have enough just in case. Because there's a, a bunch of different recipes out there for this. It's uh, as you can see, this is my heavy cream here. I got one cup, and I got two cups of uh, self-rising flour. So I said to myself, I said, "Self, <laughs> let me see if I can do this two-ingredient one before I start delving into uh, the one with all the." Uh, buttermilk and all that. Anyway, I'm going to just pour some in here. And we'll just start whisking it up. This is my finished dough hook. I've showed this to you before. Yeah. See that there? That's what it looks like. It, makes, <laughs> uh, it gets everything off the bottom. and When you're mixing the dough, it makes it real easy. I've, just, I've used it quite a bit since we got it. But anyway, we're just going to mix this up. It's just these two ingredients, and uh, I watched a bunch of those uh, do-it-yourself videos, so I'm doing it myself, see? And if you look at this, really, it's funny, because the consistency right now is like if you took the, the real, uh, the, you know, if you cut the butter in, that's what it would look like right there. <laughs> so, and the reason they're saying this uh, heavy cream one works, because there's <coughs> there's already fat mixed in it, you know, like the butter, but not, you know, it's not really butter, butter, but that's why this works so well with just uh, self-rising flour and uh, heavy cream. But I figured if I can master this. If I can master this one, then I, I'm going to try the other one. So you guys might be in for a couple times of me doing biscuits. I don't know yet. And just like with the uh, old-fashioned recipe, they don't want you messing too much with this here. So far, it's looking like every biscuit maker's dream, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's coming together just right, huh? Yep, they said a little tacky. That's tacky. <laughs> All right. Let me get some, I uh, hope I got some wax paper here. I don't want to. Well, I'm going to use some parchment paper. It's about the same, huh? I just don't want to. Uh, um, Trying to make this as easy as possible on everybody, to include myself. So we'll just uh, slap this down here. Let me wash my hands again before I stick them in there. I washed them already a zillion times. I went to the store, I washed them in the car, I washed them when I got home, I washed them right before I started all this again. Okay, so, that being said, and the funny thing is, this is, uh, I didn't, they didn't say anything about, like when you do the other version, they said everything should be really cold, cold, I didn't, uh, I didn't do all that cold, but this is cold. Okay, so we're going to. Kind of dump this all out on here. And I got so there was a little bit of flour in there, so and we're gonna put some more flour right up in through here, put some on top of here, 
so we don't get stuck. Now they say don't over over knead your dough. You can roll this out. <laughs> Some of it got it pretty nice, though. Or you can uh, just mush it with your hand. Because we're gonna. I don't have a, a dough. I mean a biscuit cutting ring, so I'm gonna have to find something to cut these with. I think I have just the thing. I don't know if it's gonna work though. But they say don't overwork the dough, so I've been counting. It's been about 10 times since I've been folding this, so I'm probably going to stop it right here. so I'm gonna be rolling this out okay so we're back I'm gonna get a little bit of flour here roll it up on my roll now I, I suspect you know you don't have to cut these out with anything you probably just uh, use a knife or something I'm going to try to use some kind of a ring thing. I think that's good. It's about a half inch is what they say. So That's about a half inch, I would think. Huh? All right. So we got that done. Now we need to find something that we can cut it with, huh? Trying to find me a mug or something that's not too, uh, like the handle ain't way up there. Let me, uh, let me be right back. I gotta, I gotta find me something to cut this with. Hold on. Okay, I found me a cup. So, anyways, put this little powder down here, and that's just for hitting the rim of the cup in here. Honey, get this phone in here, please. Okay, so as you can see, these are nice and fluffy. <laughs> I tell you right now, they're not too bad, not too sh not too shabby. And I'm putting these on a uh, my pan over there. Just gonna fold this together again. And they said, be, when you, if you have to do this, not to do it too many times again. But you know, you got to get the dough back to the way it was so you can work with it. You know. Again, just push down, and they say not to twist it now. I don't know what the twisting thing is, but uh, I'm trying not to twist it. There's another bit. Nice, 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 nice. And I'll show you what we got here in a minute. I'm using my small oven again. Hopefully, everything works out. But this came together nice. <laughs> there was another recipe on there. I'm glad I didn't try that one. That would have been too much, I think. It was two cups of 
flour to two cups of uh, milk. And look here, I just used one cup and one, two cups of uh, flour and uh, one uh, one cup of milk. So our heavy cream. Now, hopefully, Penny says she likes these, so we'll see. But like everything else, oh, yeah, I haven't had it in a long time. Who knows? Like the thing with the spam, huh? I didn't go to know. I forget that. There was a small recipe I found on there. Uh, the guy swore up and down. You just get two of them out of there. I'm like, good. Maybe I might have should have tried that one, huh? Because I'm going to end up with more biscuits than I thought here. And they say don't play with too much with the dough, but you still got to roll it out, no? Okay, there it is again. There goes me the oven. And I got one more to make. I'm gonna try to make this one just I'm not gonna be able to hit it with the cup. The cup's too big, I think so. We'll just form this one out a little bit. And this will be a little taste test one, I guess, huh? So we're gonna put this in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so, and we'll keep an eye on it. I think, though, before I do that, I might beat an egg and just coat everything real light. Like, yep. Okay, that part's done. Okay, so as you can see, this is my, uh, my masterpiece for the day. And I'll push my thumb down in the middle just a little bit. Because supposedly, if you do that, they'll rise evenly. Otherwise, they're going to, like, lean and tower of pizza. So I'm just putting my, like, you know, like when you do the hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger's got the same, same kind of a trick, but it's to keep it from shrinking or whatever. I don't know how much, how that works that good. But. Okay, so we got the things. Square it away. We got uh, our egg, egg yolk here. So we're just going to coat everything and just going to make it nice and golden brown, hopefully. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. This is it, ladies and germs. This is my. You know, and I don't usually like biscuits, okay, to be honest with you. I, somehow, just me and biscuits never got along. But I figured, ah, you know, there's a big craze going on. Penny always likes biscuits, so my parents used to like the, so my dad especially liked the sausage biscuit from McDonald's. I figured, how hard could these be to make? Now, it can't be that expensive. I mean, geez, it's a cup of milk, a cup of uh, heavy cream. Now, the heavy cream... <laughs> That was a little bit heavy on the pocket, too, I got to say. It was like $5 and something cents for a quart. But it lasts a while, and a lot of recipes call for it. And I like putting it in the gravy. So to me, it's a win-win. <laughs> I don't care. It's all good. All right, so now I'm going to pop these in the oven and keep an eye on them. I got the timer set. For 20 minutes but we may not need that 20 minutes okay in the oven she goes we'll be back okay my friends there you have it I, that egg yolk really did a nice number on the top of these I'll tell you they were only in there for 12 minutes too so they look good uh, they're hot <laughs> so we're gonna be with you in a minute okay my friends there you have it Got some biscuits with an egg and some sausage gravy. Meet you at the taste test table. 
Okay, my friends, camera girl's at uh, doing her thing back there. So let me get my fork over here. So anyway, what turned out is just making some biscuits and gravy. I made some eggs. <laughs> anyway, this is a brunch, so let me uh, just, I want to see how these taste. <laughs> Mm. I've had biscuits a while back, and I think these turned out pretty good. Um, it took a total of 12 minutes at 450. <sighs> but that gravy that we made the other day, boy, that thing still got a kick to it. I think there was... Uh, too much spice in the uh, sausage. <laughs> mm. But the biscuits turned out nice. They're light. They're fluffy. Mm. And I cooked these in that small little uh, KitchenAid oven. And I don't know if that's why they come out so quick, but... Uh, And I did hear varying times on these, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, cooking time that is, but there were also varying temperatures. So I opted for the higher temp. Well, so somebody cooked them at 500. <laughs> I thought that was a bit extreme, but these here turned out good at 450. They taste good. Uh, they go. They really go good with the... Uh, the egg and the gravy on them, so I'm not complaining. Maybe I'll get into eating them. I don't know. But anyway, my friends, uh, this is where we get down to business. When you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands. I can't say it out enough because it's even worse than... Not covering up, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Wash your hands when you're in the car. Get that spray stuff. A little sanitizer with the gel, the spray. Wash your hands when you get home. Wash them again. Um, don't talk with your mouth full unless you get a nice dish like this. And if you do get a dish like this, you can talk to all your friends and tell them about it. What's your mouth full? <laughs> Give us a like. Share with your friends. Subscribe. And if you haven't yet, if you have, don't worry about it. But if you have, haven't yet and you do subscribe, a little a notification bell will pop up. You hit that. Each time we come up with a new video, you'll be advised and uh, you won't have to go looking for it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to try this one more time here. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Two ingredient biscuits turned out really well. Hmm. And my surprise ingredient, I surprised myself and forgot to put it in there. I was going to put a tablespoon of honey in there. I figured that might be good. So I'll do that with the next batch. But anyway, my friends, this is Mr. Dan saying stay hungry. And when you are, come back and we will give you another dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan. We're out for now.